But let's start by hearing from our chairman today, who is uh, S.P. Raghavan. He has uh, been involved in internet or in digital issues in India for three decades now. He's chairman of the Technical Advisory Committee for the National Knowledge Network for the Government of India. Thank you, Jonathan. It's been a long journey for me personally, looking at interconnection, not in a machine sense, but also in a people sense. It was way back in the beginning of the 80s that India started thinking about introducing communication as any other country would, and then came up with the ubiquitous email system that came into vogue as a first application. Over a period of time, as you all know, as technology advanced and bandwidth became available at every place in the country, things have started moving from simple electronic mail to the current social networks and exchange of information in all digital format between people. Many interesting things happened during this time. There are commercial concerns, there are societal concerns, there are cultural concerns, there are legal environmental concerns, there are also the sustainable ecosystem that you need to develop to not only establish the network as it exists, but also to grow and be in tune with the requirements of the people as well as the possibilities that technology provides. In the 80s, we thought we had a grand challenge and we have solved it. We were wrong. In the 90s, we thought it was a grand challenge introducing the internet. We were wrong. In the 2000s, the new millennium, we thought we have solved the problem. We are again wrong. What is happening today in Indian terms, if you look at Gandhian type of cooperative investment in the bandwidth, it costs one cent per person per day of investment. One cent, US cent, per person per day of investment to get a gigabit of bandwidth to every hut in every village. That's all it costs. The question really is who will do it? It's not a social obligation explicitly stated. It is not a commercial venture that will be possible because you have to put things up front. So you look at capitalist economy and Gandhian economy, one cooperative venture, the capitalist economy is a commercial venture, the other one is a cooperative venture. You find that you drop in one cent every morning religiously for 10 years, you have all fiber, one gigabit network, technology makes it possible. Now bandwidth is no issue. Now managing this bandwidth is an issue. You find the local county or district as we call it, or the state, or the federation, or the country, the sovereignty, if you look at it, the legal systems, the cross-boundary interactions, whether it is a commercial electronic transaction for electronic commerce, or for content being made available elsewhere, these become serious issues all of a sudden, and the legal system has to catch up with it. There are several types of systems other than the functionality. The bandwidth is only the functionality part. Then the users establish the usage part, and then the utility of the whole thing. Then the legal part comes in. Then you have the digital forensic part in case of disputes. And then the resolution by the judiciary system, everything gets into place. And when it crosses boundaries, especially the sovereign boundaries, issues become more complex. So these are issues that are emerging because the possibilities are also expanding. On the content side, human beings haven't had experience of two things. One, simultaneity of events. The second, collapsing of distance. We have no way of apprehending. We are limited by the 120 degree right front of your comprehension. That's the ability human beings have developed over time. 
suddenly you have the ability to see things which are beyond this horizon, beyond what we are trained to for. So that makes a challenge for an individual, a growing population. So 10 years from now, what do you want the population to be across the world will become an issue. We have to think about what kind of content we make available and how effectively do we make available. I'm saying this especially because most of the discussions center around how effectively to use the bandwidth and how effectively use the technology and how high resolution things can be done and transported. To me as a technical person, that has become a non-issue. If you want to teach 10,000 people simultaneously, there is a pedagogical issue. I haven't learned the art of teaching 10,000 people simultaneously with interaction. The BBC kind of people have mastered the art of reaching 100,000 people, 100 million people simultaneously, not interaction. It is that interaction and the pedagogical model that's going to make a huge difference. Because one you do that, you are reaching the last citizen, which we talk about in the internet world in terms of access. Technology is not the serious issue. You know, they are more and more will become available. Wireless will become gigabit capable. Already it is becoming. The fiber will become terabit capable. The cost is not the serious issue. The way you utilize the entire thing will become the serious issue. The way you enable the utilization will become a serious issue. The way you make it sustainable by making the successive generations understand and progress and think will become a serious issue. I would like the panel to deliberate on these things and then what should be our far-reaching legislations, our far-reaching policy directives, our far-reaching community understanding in driving the internet the way it is to the way it should be in our perception. I'll come back and intervene at appropriate points in time. Thank you, Jonathan.